Rob, I'm sensing that there's uneducated people out there that need assistance about whiskey. Let us help them. Fly. Hey everybody, welcome to Simple Diversion. Yes, I'm Graham. I'm Rob. And today, we're gonna be bringing you something new on the horizon. Uh, something young. Rabbit Hole Kentucky Straight Bourbon. As you can see, we've had a little bit of it. Do you want these out? Um, no. <laughs> As with all good stories, this one starts with a girl. I met Heather while living in Chicago. She introduced me to bourbon, luring me away from my beloved scotch. I fell in love with her and bourbon at the same time, and for much of the same reason. Charm, beauty, elegance. <laughs> she pulled me down a rabbit hole I might never have dared alone. To the countryside of Kentucky, the progressive vibrancy of Louisville, and inevitably to bourbon. Cave Zamanian. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but that's a short little story on how rabbit hole became. So he fell in love with a girl who loved bourbon. Moved from Chicago all the way down to Louisville. 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 And, Louisville. Uh, Louisville. Louisville. He was a Scotch guy too. So I hope he still I is. What kind of bourbon? Bit. Kind of bourbon she uh, introduced him to at first. I'm sure he had a few. She tried to get him drunk. Yeah. Drunk off of the American whiskey. Yeah. Probably Jim Beam. Yeah. Black. Yeah. <laughs> reason, anyway. why, reason why we don't have many videos on uh, Jim Beam. So this hasn't been around for a very long time. No, it's. Uh, I guess they they kind of started in 2014, but uh, it, the release was in 2016. Okay. So which is why this is a, they say two plus year uh, when it comes to the age statement. And uh, they started in Louisville. Mm -hmm. uh, While well, they have a, a contract with a, another distillery in Louisville, although they still call themselves the Rabbit Hole Distillery, uh, and they're opening their big, massive distillery that they've been talking about uh, in early 2018 this year. Yeah. So uh, anytime. It's supposed to be fall 2017, but they changed it. And they're also talking about coming out with a four-year whiskey for your bourbon uh, this year as well, which wouldn't surprise me if it came around, came out around the time. The uh, distillery opened up, and it looks like they're trying to. This distillery is going to be, I guess, huge. Oh yeah, and um, they're not going to be, you know, just doing like this microbrewery or anything like yeah. that. They're, they they want to reach as many people as possible yeah. with this, and oh, uh, it's supposed to be. I think I want to say, um, you know, broad enough to reach a lot of people. Mm -hmm. that a lot of people will like it. Not taking anything away from yeah. it, but uh, I think that that's the goal is. Yeah. To get that I think it could get. I think it could get to that point within the next ten years where mm -hmm. everyone's like, "Oh yeah, rabbit hole." I don't think it's ever going to be as big as like Jack Daniels or Jim Beam. Probably not uh, when it comes to that. But I, I do see it being like a, a runner up to that. Um, I, I do see it being a more elite uh, when it comes to uh, quality. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think it's going to be as massive in sales. One being because of the price. Sure. Um, but because of the, the quality, that is why I think the price is so high. And we'll get more into that. Yeah, you, I mean, you can, we got this at Total Wine, but I, I've seen it in a couple other places too. So it's, it's you know. Starting to kind of show its face a, a market, little bit yeah. more. Yeah. And this, we found this for as low as uh, $42. Yeah. Um, I know in other places in the country it might be 50 to $60. Yeah. So it's more of a premium in other areas. I do want to mention, the Rabbit Hole Distillery is slated to open fall 2017, which now we know is 2018, with a production goal of 20,000 barrels a year, and will offer daily tours, as well as tasting rooms, a gift mm -hmm. shop, 160 plus person event space and restaurant, and their desire to keep things local. Rabbit Hole enlisted the help of fourth generation craftsmen at Vindum Copper and Brass Works to build a 24 inch column still and other distill distillation equipment. So, quick little thing on their distillery there. That's what our notes are for. So with the barrel that this is aged in, it's gonna have a strong foundation of vanilla and wood. And then from the, the mash that we have, it's gonna be um, honey and spices. Yeah. 
And if we remember the, the four mash ingredients, it would be 70% corn, 10% mm -hmm. malted honey. barley. Oh, malted barley. And, and then 10% honey, honey malted, malted yep. barley. And then 10% wheat. And 10% malted wheat. <laughs> <laughs> yes! The bottle appearance is actually very... Love the bottle. Yeah, I, I love the bottle. That's what kind of got my eyes on it. I love the name, the mm -hmm. bottle, and um, just the uh, the bunny on there. Yeah, the little bunny kind of... Just See, how it's... Wait. I, I've heard nothing, and uh, now I have, but uh, before we bought the bottle, I had heard nothing about Rabbit Hole. No, me I, I literally saw the bottle, thought the bottle looked awesome, and uh, we were in the bourbon section. I, I felt, hey, you know, I want to get more into bourbon. Let's give it a shot. Mm -hmm. And um, from there, I kind of did some history before I tasted it. And, and that's too when you learned how new it was, too. Yeah, yeah. So I think we found out how new, it, how young it was yeah. after we yeah. bought it. So, so that just goes to show that sometimes there are people like me that kind of judge a book on its cover. Mm -hmm. I don't do that typically, but I, I really had to get a... Well, that's why you mark it. You, yeah. know, you want people like exactly to try something new yep. and, you know, it... it it attracted us to it, and yeah. that's why it just looks really got bold. a sale, and now it's getting a review, and yeah. hopefully looks, more people. It looks really bold. It looks different. It has a rabbit on it. Who doesn't like rabbits? When I see the bottle, I, it looks, you know, like um, top shelf. Yes. It looks expensive, yep. and, you know, maybe when you're like, oh, only $42, I'm kind right. of getting a steal. So, you know, right. will that hold up with what's inside? You know, we'll find out in a minute. Right. On the nose, I definitely get the vanilla, a little bit of honey. Yep. I get some uh, some cinnamon, and I don't know if it's just me knowing that it's woody, but it it kind of has that woody smell to it, like kind of like um, when you're smoking a cigar. Sometimes you get yeah. that woody flavor, mm -hmm. kind of a little bit of that in here. Very very pleasant nose. Yeah, I'm I'm almost getting like a uh, you know when you go to like a carnival or something and you have those nuts, mm -hmm. like the the. Flavored nuts that you buy—I don't know what they call them—but yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm smelling right now. I won't say it's bold, but it's um, it's clean and strong. Yeah, it is clean, but it's not like um, it's it's a it's a shock, a shock. I mean, um, you know, for how young it is, it's shockingly. It's not complicated. <laughs> it's not a complicated nose. No, but it's it's very pleasant. And yeah. that's, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. Mm. It's easy to drink. It is easy. It's not like a Woodford Reserve double oaked where it's kind of burns. Yeah. This is a lot more pleasant. But see, softer. I'm not a huge bourbon guy. Uh, I, I enjoy some bourbon. But sometimes I don't, I'm not a huge fan of bourbon because um, personally, sometimes I feel like bourbon <clears throat> kind of bites your tongue too much. Yeah. For bourbon, uh, American whiskey, I, I kind of I like the more gentle bite. So I, I actually like this a lot. I would say on the, on the palate, it's definitely still got the vanilla initially yep. with some spice. Yeah. And, and maybe I'm getting a lot of cinnamon on there and honey. With a little bit of vanilla. honey, yep. I don't yeah. get the cinnamon as much, but um, definitely. Those other flavors going down. Yep. Finish is strong. Finish, but, but good. It's just kind of like tingly and spicy yeah. on your on your tongue. It's nice. Finish is strong, but I feel like it goes <laughs> away pretty quick. Um, which just probably has a lot to. I would say it's welcome. Yep. Yep. Um, and I'd say that could be a good thing, but at the same time, you know, I, I kind of like my finish to last a little bit longer. Sure. Some people think that it's not challenging enough for what you're paying. All right, it's a beginner's whiskey for. A, um, a higher price right I would say I don't mind it um, it's it, it's more of what I gravitate towards so I'm fine with it yeah. other people might have their opinions but um, I love it it's up there with me for um, Eagle Rare and Basil Hayden's mm -hmm. and if you count Tennessee whiskey you know George Dickel 12 this and uh, Jefferson's are probably my go-to bourbon but you know, if you can find it for 40, 45 bucks, I would say, you know, it's a it's a steal. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can't find it for that price and you're more in the $55 range, which is the MSRP price, um, I, I would say, I would say give it a shot um, first. Uh, if a buddy has it or somebody that you know has it, <clears throat> um, 
give it a pour and uh, if you if you enjoy it then you know go go give it a shot and buy a bottle but this says established 2012 oh okay they're actually 2012 2012 yeah it was established in 2012 <laughs> um, no, don't ever not. believe what the internet is telling you folks <laughs> would you buy this again I would I would buy this again and I would love to to uh, to buy the other um, like the sherry and I don't know about the uh, it's good nose the rye but I'm not a big rye guy but I, I you know I might go after that if sherry is pleasant yep. as well I don't gravitate towards the, the rye either but it's something I wouldn't be afraid yeah. to try I would also buy this again how about a score out of a one to ten. If I'm just looking at the bottle and I'm looking at the the appearance, the the um, the palette, or the whatever, nose, the, the nose, palette, and the finish, um, I'd give it a solid nine. It, it tastes a little bit more elegant than like an Eagle Rare. Like it's, it's kind of surprising with a high ABV, you know? Yeah, it's um, and in a good way too. Like Eagle Rare to me is more up and down with it. It's got a lot in there and it's kind of up and down with what you're yep. getting and this is just kind of like I'm gonna take you on a ride we're just gonna we're gonna drive fast but we're not like going yeah. like this we're just going yep and it's good if that makes any sense. So, I'm not the biggest bourbon drinker either but I do have a few select ones that I, I do like a lot. Um, I actually started drinking some Vanguard whiskey I'm not sure if anybody knows that I think that's more of a up north distillery type um, but I enjoy drinking bourbon while I'm watching the ranch. Ranch! And um, like that Jameson. That's what they drink a lot. They drink Jim Beam and Jameson a lot, yeah. Yeah, Jim Beam. But I like this up there, like I mentioned, with some of my other favorites. It is a new favorite for me. I would also give it probably about a nine. Maybe, an, I mean, I'd give it a 9.1. Yeah. It's I, a really good bourbon and it's something that I think I'm, I'd give it a 9.1 just because it's bourbon and I, I really like it. Yeah. I don't typically gravitate right. towards a lot of bourbon. Well, so. and, and, and the, the, the neat thing about Rabbit Hole for me is that typically when, when I want to drink, I usually try to get something different the night after or mm -hmm. my next drink will be something different. But I've been gravitating toward this ever since I bought it. If I want to drink, I'll, I'll take this out. You know, uh, we, we've gotten a little bit into pipe smoking. Uh, so uh, we, the first time we kind of tried a drink with pipe uh, smoking, we tried the rabbit hole. Um, and it's just kind of, it's almost like that go-to bourbon for me now. Mm -hmm. So I think my only knock on it is I'd like to see it in the 35 to 40 yeah. at the highest point range, right. not, I know it's only it, a couple it, bucks, but 42 to 50-ish. Yeah. All right, well. This was Rabbit Hole Kentucky Straight Bourbon. Bourbon. Hope you guys like it as much as we do. Let us know uh, what you think about it. And if it's something that um, you've tried. And yeah. That it will be your new go-to. Yes. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. We are always um, trying to share things and just keep you up to date with yeah. everyday Give you stuff. a couple laughs every bit, now and then. A little bit easier to share posts and yep. pictures that way. And um, yeah, be part of the community. Yeah. We'd love to see you. Please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, we'll see, we'll you, see soon. you soon.